Hello everyone, now we will solve some numerical problems based on Lagrangian equations. And the first problem is that we have to find the time period of the oscillation of a simple pendulum using the Lagrangian equations. Let us assume in the figure uh, M is the mass of the ball and it is suspended through a string of length L from the point C. Suppose that at any point A it has the angular displacement theta and the arc length is S. We know that the Lagrangian equation for the generalized coordinate QK uh, can be written as D over DT del L over del QK dot minus del L over del QK is equal to 0. Here L is the Lagrangian and it is equal to T minus V. We know it. T is here kinetic energy and V is potential energy. QK dot it is the generalized velocity and QK is the generalized coordinate. Here we will find the kinetic energy at point A and also the potential energy at point A. So for finding the kinetic energy at point A we first uh, find the arc length S and you know that S is equal to L theta. Here theta is uh, a variable or it is independent so it will be considered as a generalized coordinate and L is the effective length of this string and it, it is a constant so our arc length S is equal to L theta. Now we can find the velocity of the bob at point A if we differentiate uh, this uh, with respect to time so ds over dt will give us the velocity of the bob at point a and it is equal to l d theta over dt and we can write it as l theta dot now we can find the kinetic energy at point a and that will be equal to 1 by 2 m v square and v is equal to l theta dot so it will be 1 by 2 m l square theta dot square now we will find the potential energy of the bob at point a if we consider a line which is passing through C as the reference point then potential energy can be written as minus mgl cos theta right above the reference point the potential energy will be considered positive and below the reference line it will be considered negative so now your Lagrangian at point A is equal to t minus v and it is equal to 1 by 2 m l square theta dot square it will become plus mg l cos theta because here theta is the generalized coordinate so we will find here first del l over del theta dot it will come out to 1 by 2 m l square into 2 theta dot so it becomes m l square theta dot now we will find del l over del theta it comes out to be minus m g l sin theta if we put these values del L over del theta dot and del L over del theta 
in Lagrangian equation which is for the generalized coordinate theta is of the form d over dt del l over del theta root minus del l over del theta is equal to 0. So now uh, our equation becomes m l square it will be theta double root minus del l over del theta it becomes plus m g l sin theta and is equal to 0. We can write it as theta double root plus g upon l sin theta is equal to 0. If our theta is small for simple harmonic motion theta will be small you know that so we can write sin theta is equal to theta so our other equation becomes now theta double dot plus g upon l theta is equal to zero it is a, a simple harmonic motion equation so here we can find directly the angular velocity and that will be equal to root g upon l so we know that the time period is equal to 2 pi upon omega so it is equal to 2 pi root l upon z so this is the time period of the oscillation of the simple pendulum and you can see here that we can find it easily by using the Lagrangian equation L is length of the string and G is acceleration due to gravity and pi is a constant and its unit will be in second thank you